to run, to rejoice, to embrace every moment that comes your way. It's your life, and it's our passion to care for it. Sanford Health. Health lives here. The backlash is growing over proposed legislation impacting the transgender community in South Dakota. We'll tell you about a rally in Sioux Falls scheduled for today in support of transgender rights. And a bumpy ride ahead for drivers in Sioux Falls, how the warm winter is creating a fresh batch of potholes and what the city is doing to fix the problem and you can, how you can help in the effort. Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have a good list of boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. Protesters will take to the streets of Sioux Falls today to voice their opposition to measures in the legislature that would affect the transgender community. One of the bills, which has gained nationwide attention, would make it a crime for any medical professional to perform gender-affirming procedures on children under the age of 16. Opponents say some lawmakers are trying to criminalize transgender people. They'll gather at Nelson Park this afternoon to share their concerns. I hope they um, find a sense of community. I think some people in South Dakota um, struggle with voicing their concerns because they might think they're alone. Um, and I think this shows that they're not. Protesters will then march from Nelson Park to Faywick Park for a series of speeches. A local baseball coach and former Sioux Falls Canaries player is facing rape and child pornography charges. According to court documents, the rape charge against 47-year-old Juan Thomas involves a 10-year-old child. He also faces 10 counts of child pornography and possession. Prosecutors say an electronic device taken from Thomas's home contained images of videos and child porn. Thomas served as a volunteer assistant baseball coach at Augustana University in 2014 and in 2016. He was also a baseball coach and hitting instructor for the Harrisburg Baseball Association from November of 2017 to October 2019. He's no longer associated with that organization. The January thaw is poking more potholes into the pavement throughout Sioux Falls. City crews have been patching between 50 to 100 potholes a day. They'll even have a crew working over the weekend to catch up. The street department is receiving reports of 30 to 40 new potholes every day. If you'd like to report a problem pothole, you can call the city's pothole hotline. There's also a free mobile app you can download to notify the city. Search for City of Sioux Falls in Google Play or the Apple app store. Well, the warm weekend this weekend will likely create more potholes. Here's meteorologist Grant Smith in the Storm Center. Good morning, Grant. Yes, looks like that will be the uh, trend here when uh, temperatures kind of go up and down. We add more moisture to the concrete and yeah, that just kind of does that. And well, this weekend, the warmer weather settles in, but then the seven-day forecast, we do see some cooler weather moving back in. So I think you're right, Perry. Uh, but as far as the short-term forecast here, the weekend's looking quiet. But then late Sunday into Monday, we've got this to deal with. Winter storm watch will be in effect Sunday evening through Monday evening for heavy snow in the Black Hills. But as far as today is concerned, we've got this warm front coming through. It's going to be thicker clouds will be found in the morning. In the afternoon, we should be seeing mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. And embedded in these clouds could be some very light mixed precipitation. We'll be seeing hints of that this morning. But then once we get to the afternoon, looking at those clouds moving on, more sunshine expected. The sunshine continues into to at least the first half of tomorrow, but a cold front will bring in some more cloud cover during the second half of tomorrow, and the colder weather settles in in your seven-day forecast, along with that snow. Sunday night, we'll have all those forecast details coming up here in just a couple minutes. All right, thank you very much, Grant. Well, everyone is invited to walk and roll during Mall Walk for Lifescape at the Empire Mall. Registration goes from 8 to 9.30 in the center court. The walk begins at 9.30. Prize announcements for the top fundraisers are at 10.30 back at the center court. All proceeds stay local to benefit children and adults supported by LifeScape. The Sioux Falls Winter Carnival gets underway today. Activities include a pop-up ice rink at the 8th and Railroad Center from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. A fat bike fest and fat bike race at Great Bear Ski Valley starts at 9 or 8 o'clock this morning. A family snow fest at Spellerberg Park goes from 10 to noon, and Frosty Fitness at Faywick Park also goes from 10 to noon. The Winter Carnival runs through February 9th. The Sioux Falls Model Railroad Club is hosting an open house from 10 to 4 at the WH Line Fairgrounds. You can see trains operated on South Dakota's largest permanent model railroad layout inside the recently expanded clubhouse. 
The free open house is on the north end of the fairgrounds, west of the armory. Sioux Falls Sports Car Card Show features new and vintage cards plus memorabilia at American Legion Post 15 in Sioux Falls. The hours are from 9 to 3. Admission is free. The Stampede hockey team takes on the Waterloo Blackhawks at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. The puck drops at 7.05. Tickets are available at the Kelloland box office. Grant. All right, well, here's another look at your forecast here. we got this cold front that's going to move through uh, tonight into tomorrow. And as it does, it's going to be bringing us some cooler weather. So tomorrow, looking at more uh, widespread 30s to 40s, which is still above average for this time of year. But some folks will see a big cool down compared to today. But this front will move from the north to the south. And as it does, it'll increase the cloud cover throughout the day. So we'll start the day off with clear skies and then clouds building throughout the day. And then also late in the day into Sunday night, we'll see some snowfall develop for western South Dakota and even farther west into Wyoming. But notice how the snow kind of stays in the west through your Sunday night and even into your Monday. And then on Monday, high pressure system will settle in uh, passing to the north. What this will do is this should keep the snow farther down to the south. So the farther north you are, the better chance of seeing flurries or less on Monday. In fact, Aberdeen, we just have flurries in the forecast uh, because of that high pressure settling, keeping the heavier snow farther down to the south. And then as that high pressure moves from west to east, also a low pressure farther south, will allow for that snow to expand uh, to the east on Monday into Monday night. But snowfall amounts on Monday, for those of you in central and southeast Colorado, not looking like a lot. It's mainly the Black Hills that we're seeing the most amount of snow, kind of the two to four inches on the outskirts of the Black Hills, and then in the middle of the Black Hills, that's where we have uh, higher amounts, at least three inches. In fact, the risk of three inches of snow in the center of the Black Hills is a high risk. That's over 70% chance of seeing. So that's how we're going with at least three to six inches isolated higher amounts in the higher elevations of the Black Hills. But notice everywhere else, yeah, pretty low chance of even seeing just an inch of a snowfall through Monday. And then your seven-day forecast, well, the warmer than average weather sticks around for this weekend, but then that cold front moves through, bringing in cooler than average weather to start your work week on Monday and Tuesday. Then it looks like we're going to moderate a little bit. So you'll see on the seven day forecast, we'll dip a little bit and then come back up. But that warmer than average weather will stick around for only a couple of days as next weekend we cool right back down. So kind of an up and down forecast over the next seven days. So today, upper 30s to 40s in the east, 50s and 60s found in the central and western regions. And then tonight will cool to mostly the 30s. That cold front tomorrow could actually lead to falling temperatures. So if you're in western South Dakota, those temperatures you see in there could likely be in the morning and then cooler temperatures in the afternoon. But because of the timing of the front, still reaching the upper 40s in the southeast. 47 for Sioux Falls, 48 for Yankton. And then your seven-day forecast, well, there's that dip in the temperature I mentioned on Monday and Tuesday. And then warmer weather moves back in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Chance for snow on Tuesday for the Sioux Falls area, just flurries on Wednesday. And then Aberdeen, yeah, very little chance for moisture up there. So that's why we're going with just flurries on Monday. Uh, but look at those temperatures, though. Biggest temperature swings going from near 40 on Sunday to single-digit lows. Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night, highs in the teens and 20s, and then 20s and 30s later on in the week. Pier cooling down to highs in the 20s on Monday and Tuesday, and then they return to the 30s to near 40 degrees on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then beyond that, cooling right back down. Western South Dakota also seeing temperatures go from the 60s today to highs in the 20s on Monday and Tuesday, but then they return to the 40s there by Thursday and Friday. And then beyond that, the uh, seven day for the uh, beyond that, the forecast continues that cooling trend. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the go. You can get up to the developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.